Hey everybody, uh, it's me, it's Todd, and this is the Donnie Williams Show, the show where I tell a story or uh, uh, an anecdote or, or some behind-the-scenes facts uh, from my uh, tenure as an actor in uh, Hollywoodland. Um, and I do it because a guy named Donnie uh, uh, Williams told me to. Um, Wait, at the beginning, did I say Donnie Williams show? Or did I say the Donnie Wahlberg show? Shit. Well, it doesn't matter. The name of the show. Um, so, uh, just getting back from this break. Uh, uh, it's been a while since I spun a yarn for, for you all. But, uh, but I'm going to do it today. So, uh, I was hoping, uh, during the hiatus that, you know, something crazy would happen, uh, and, and I'd book some crazy job or, or something, uh, to get a, a, a story out of it, uh, a fresh story, but, uh, nothing really big happened, uh, during the hiatus. It was a pleasant, a mellow time off. Um, I did, uh... William Shatner uh, got mad at me for talking about his uh, movie, Kingdom of the Spiders, on uh, my show, My Favorite Shitty Movie. Um, so that's something that happened, but, you know, it's not really a huge story. Um, so I was going to talk about the fact that, uh, you know, I haven't been afforded uh, a lot of leads in my career. I'm usually a supporting player uh, of some kind. Uh, not the kind of uh, person, I guess, that people want to hang out with for extended periods of time and really understand and become emotionally involved with. They just want me to pop in and out, you know, make them laugh and then get out of the way. But I have been afforded a couple. Uh, there was a, a Fuzz Track City, a low-budget movie that I did where I, I was the lead. I played a detective. And then, uh, well, and there were a couple of one-acts at uh, NYU, I guess, where uh, I was the lead. Um, oh, high school. Uh, I was in a, a, a one of the many plays I did in high school. I, I got to play uh, the lead. Um, and, and, and what reminded me of it is a, 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 an old high school classmate reached out to me recently, and, uh, and then I suddenly remembered this uh, story uh, so I was the lead, uh, in this, uh, comedy, uh, play and, uh, you know, that was cool. I was nice to have that to carry a show is, is, you know, it's, it's cool. And another thing in this play, you know, back in high school that, you know, it, I was a romantic, uh, lead as well. I don't, I don't play a lot of romantics, romantic uh, types people don't want to see me doing it um but i in this play i was romantic uh, uh and uh i was courting uh my character was courting another character and at one point i i took her to a window and we were romantically looking out the window and then uh, a, a bunch of these uh these uh, uh, uh jokers uh, backstage uh, on the crew, uh, three of them uh, mooned us. So, you know, we were looking out the window uh, and what we really saw was immediately backstage and, and they were there and they uh, mooned us. Uh, and, and all I could think of to say was the moonlight is so romantic tonight. Which was an unnecessary ad lib because only myself and my co-star could see all those buttocks. Um, so she, you know, had to choke back a laugh, as I recall. But the audience had no idea what the fuck I was talking about. Because we were the only ones who could see the ass. If all the audience could have seen the ass, that would have been a great ad lib. But as it was, it was just like kind of a non sequitur. This has been a Blursh production. Blur.